Hey everyone, in this video, you'll be shown the process to set up a print and cut workflow using barcodes on Sumo roll fed cutters. Fiery supports vinyl cutters and a wide range of digital factory products. Customers can print and cut stickers, labels, car wraps, and more on a variety of hybrid machines like those from Roland and Mamaki, dedicated print devices like those from Muto, Epson, and HP, and dedicated cutters like those from GraphTech, GCC, and Suma. In the standard workflow, the job is printed and then cut one by one. Using barcodes allows you to print one job after the other and then cut the complete roll of vinyl while unattended. We'll be using the Suma Oppos with barcode and Suma Cutter Control. We'll explain how to set up and configure the general settings in the RIP and what needs to be done in the Suma Cutter Control software to activate the barcode cutting system. We have created a queue for a printer and a Suma S2160T Oppos. We want to make sure that all the settings are correct. Go to the queue menu and select Manage Queues. Find the Suma S2160T Oppos in the queue list and ensure the port is set to File. Click on the Ellipses or Port Settings button to the left of the port field and in the Port Settings dialog, navigate to the Output folder where the files will be saved. Tick Use Barcode Value, choose PLT as the default extension, and press OK and then Close. For this job, Template Media will be used. Double click on the Q tab. The Q Properties dialog will open. Next, select Media Setup under the Setting group on the left. Change the type to Template Media. Roll Mode and Fixed Sheet Mode can also be used, but in this case we want to use Template. Select a template from the Name drop-down list. A template was created earlier and labeled Stickers. Click on this template to select it. Click OK. The template should now be selected in the Queue tab on the lower right. Go back and double click on the Queue tab on the left, and in Queue Properties dialog, select Production Markup found in the Settings group on the left column. Select Oppos from the System drop down list, select Per Content from the Mode drop down list, and tick Print Barcode. To ensure the pinch rollers have space in the vinyl, go to the margin area at the bottom, set the top margin at 0.4 inches, and the bottom margin to 1.2 inches. To have padding between the job and the barcode, go to the padding section on the right and set the padding of all sides to 0.2 inches. If the job calls for white underbase, it can be included by ticking the box for add white underbase at the bottom. The last option we want to set is the job reserve. Click on job reserve in the settings group in the left column. Tick save spool file on job reserve. This ensures that the ripped and printed files retain the same barcode if it needs to be printed and cut again. Finally, set the automatic application of a contour cut to the stickers jobs as they are imported. Click on the contour cut found in the cutter group on the left. Tick apply to all incoming jobs. Ensure contour cut is the selection in both drop down menus and leave the rest of the default settings as they are. Click OK to close the dialog. Once everything is set up, the stickers can be imported. Right click on the queue area and select import file. Navigate to the location of the stickers, select All, and click Open. The slots of the templates will be populated with the imported stickers, and barcodes at the top and bottom of the page will be generated when the jobs are ripped. If you'd like to see a sample of the barcodes, right-click on the first job in the queue and select Rip Only. The first page will be ripped, and once complete, you can right-click again on the ripped group and select View Raw Data. In this view, you can see the barcodes and the barcode numbers. When you are done reviewing the file, close the window. When the jobs are set to print and cut, two barcodes and two cut files are generated. The advantage is that the jobs get cut correctly regardless of which direction the print is put into the vinyl cutter. Select all jobs, right mouse click, and choose print and cut. The files are printed and the cut job files are sent to the folder we have chosen. Once the jobs are printed, we can load the sheet into the Suma cutter. It doesn't matter which direction the vinyl is put into the cutter. Now go to the Suma cutter control and make sure that the cutter is connected and has been recognized. Once connected, click on the barcode server button. On the left, navigate to the folder where the plot files were written from Digital Factory. The resulting files are displayed in the next column with end numbers 0 and 5, which can be cut from front or cut from the back. Click on the Start Barcode Server button. The barcode server now connects to the cutter, 
and in the log window to the right, you'll see the message waiting for barcode. Manually set up the cutting head on the SUMA cutter in front of the barcode. When this is done, press the barcode button. The cutter will read the barcode, and when SUMA Cutter Control has received the file number, it'll send the correct job to the cutter. After the job is cut, the cutter will move to the next barcode, read the code, and send the next job to the cutter. When all the jobs are cut and the cutter does not find any more barcodes, it will indicate there are no more jobs detected and will disconnect. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, hit the like button. And if you have any questions, please reach out to us at any time. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos covering digital factory products.